America is known as the home of the free. But if you smoke cigarettes, you are certainly not free. With so many rules and regulations, you can't smoke anywhere anymore. Not in the park, not on park benches, not even at the beach. We're going to visit with a woman from Brooklyn who's a smoking activist, and she is fed up with all these rules and regulations. I'm Kelly in New York City, reporting for Metropolis. What I'm doing here now is actually unbelievably illegal. Having a cigarette in the park. Look at it, it there's nobody here. How can you possibly say I'm, I shouldn't be smoking here, uh, that I'm harming anyone? There is absolutely no valid reason on any level, uh, scientifically, socially, for this law to exist. And when you can no longer reason with um, the authorities and the, the city council to be more specific as to how ridiculous a law this is, the only uh, response left is civil disobedience to effect change. My name is Audrey Sulk. I am the founder of NYC Clash, which is Citizens Lobbying Against Smoker Harassment, established in the year 2000 to protect the rights of adults who smoke, including myself. These are the skeletal remains of my 75 out of 100 tobacco plants. There are 25 more in the back. This is what's left after I've picked them clean. It's a lot of work, but it's not difficult work. It's only time consuming because it is not illegal to grow tobacco. You just can't sell it. But it's part of all the rest of the gardening I do. It's just another, another form of gardening. I have all my flowers and my raspberry bush. This year I had a hard time with squirrels. They kept wanting to bury their peanuts in my pots. All my neighbors complained that all their flowers were also experiencing the same thing. So they're digging in your pots and they're pulling out my, my little seedlings. So I had to come up with a new system this year and I used, found um, bridal veil material because it's netted. And I just put it over all the pots and it kept the squirrels away. If you pull it off, they're in the bottom end. And those are the tobacco seeds. They're, they're microscopic. It is amazing how this little tiny thing grows into something like this. This is the last of what I've picked. There's not enough room down here for all my leaves from all those plants. So as leaves dry that I've picked maybe three weeks earlier, I'll pull those off to make room for the new leaves I'm gonna be picking. Um, so do I want my basement lined with leaves? No, but um, on principle, I will go to these lengths because I won't be treated uh, the way Mayor Bloomberg and the other anti-smokers want to treat me. I refuse to become one of their victims. Mayor Bloomberg and his ilk are trying to bend me to their will to conform, to behave in a way they say is the right way to behave and that is to not smoke. Now, I am not denying or arguing that primary smoking doesn't carry risk. I think it's been exaggerated, but I agree that it's risky. But there's nobody who can say today that we haven't been beaten over the head with that message. Now, as an adult, leave me alone to make that choice. I call my tobacco plantation, if you want to say that, uh, Screw you, Bloomberg Gardens. And as I'm doing this process, 
I'm repeating in my head or even out loud, screw you Bloomberg, screw you Bloomberg, it's my incentive to keep going. I'm a retired New York City police officer, and uh, these two gentlemen here were two of my bosses. That was my commanding officer, Inspector Powers, and Sergeant Finneran. They don't make bosses, they don't make cops like Sergeant Finneran anymore. His nickname was Buggins. I can't forget why. <laughs> New York City can put its own tax on cigarettes. So you have the city tax of $1.50 and the state tax and the federal tax and they go for uh, $12 a pack. Some places $14 a pack. Be perfectly honest, my cigarettes are not fully home grown because for inexplicable reasons I can roll a whole pack of cigarettes and it'll be burned just fine. And then the next pack from the same batch won't burn fine. So I mix, but I'm, I'm still using so much less that even if the store-bought loose tobacco has increased in price, it's still less than I'd be paying back at its original price because I'm using so much less of it. I'm saving thousands of dollars a year. It's almost not about smoking anymore. It's simply civil liberties and the slippery slope. We've seen them go after now trans fat, which I testified against that uh, legislation. Salt, sugar, where does it stop? You have to put your foot down. Yeah, I'm Audrey Silk, and Audrey Silk has decided she wants to smoke. And, and how dare you try to make me stop?